Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is from Finland. Uh, we had a run of uh, the Jamolin beers from the Netherlands and now this one is from Finland. I didn't get this one uh, on a beer trade, I actually got this at Venice Challenger. They had this up here. One of my subs said, uh, uh, said he thought this was the best beer that Finland produced. I said, oh really? So I wrote it down when I went up there. And, they actually had this, and I said, oh, let me pick it up. So, this is, I'm going to probably go butcher this up, S-I-N-E-B-R-Y-C-H-O-F-F. -E Sinbertroff. 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 Chaff. Sinbertroff. Porter. Brewer since 1819. Wow. I must have been doing this 200 years, man. You reckon they got it figured out yet? bet they have. Uh, right on the side of this label it says uh, best before. Let me give you the code that they have on here. It says E10135 and then it has a little H yeah, right beside of the numbers there. So I don't know if the H has significance there or not but that is a code there best before and I ain't got a clue what that code means. Uh, if that's some kind of Julian code or whatever, don't have a clue. So guys, any, anybody know what that code means? E10135 with a little H stamp beside of it. This is a, uh, like I said, a product of Finland, 11.2 fluid ounces, 7.2% alcohol by volume. Uh, they're out of Karava, Finland. Baltic Porter, year-round serving. Food pairing cuisine is barbecue. Cheeses are earthy. Cabernet Fontina. The meat is beef, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat with this one too. This is a polar, a darker style. It may even go with uh, some chocolate type desserts and stuff. We'll see when we get the cap off of it if it's, if it's one of the chocolate air type or coffee type or what we're going to have here. Glassware is a pint. Becker's fine mug. Oversized wine glass. Uh, I got the Dubai glass. Uh, it's 7.2. Once we get to the 7%, I could have put it in a pint glass just as easy as this, but I kind of want to put this one in, the, in this one to see what kind of aromas I'm going to get. Especially since they come all the way from Finland. Uh, the, the beer can be sold for extended period. It's 7.2, so it'll keep for a couple of years, guys. And I don't remember seeing anything on the label that needs to be expressed other than what I've told you already. Let's, uh, let's see what this looks like in a glass. Oh, a little bit in the bottom of the bottle there, not too bad. That pours a very, let me see if I can get any light at all on this. I am not getting any light whatsoever. This is a pretty dark porter. Let me get it over on the side so I can actually see the color of it. And it is black. It is not a brown porter. It is pretty black. It looks like used motor oil, as I, you hear me say very often on a lot of these stouts. It looks a little thin in the glass. But that could be deceiving. Looks very good in the glass, and it didn't pour a very big head. And what it did pour is basically dissipated, and it's just barely covering the outside edge of the top of the head there. I mean, the top of the glue beer. Let's get a nose on it. I'm getting some roasted malt, a little bit of coffee. And some bittersweet chocolate is what I'm getting there. Maybe a little bit of dark fruit in there. Maybe some dates or some, some raisins or something. And I am getting just a little bit of the alcohol. 
off. So let's see what we got, guys. Cheers. A lot of roasty malt. A little bit of coffee. They're sweet. I tell you what, that's tasty. I like that. I've read a lot of reviews here on this one. Not a lot, but <clears throat> a, a few on both the Rape Beer and Beer Advocate. And uh, uh, without giving the, the, letting the cat out of the bag, there are some good numbers as far as ratings, but the people that have reviewed it lately have not been impressed with it. So I um, have been wondering, well, maybe. Maybe the beer is not as good as it was, or maybe these people are, don't appreciate uh, the richer. It's hard to tell what makes people say what they say about beers. So. Maybe it's a bitter beer. But it's got a very nice, roasty, bittersweet taste. This is a non-filtered beer. They use a Munich malt when they brew this. But yeah, it's a, I'm giving a, I'm giving coffee, dark chocolate, roasted malt, and I want to hold it up really thin. You know, look that through the back of the glass there. I can see just a little bit of the, the uh, red hue through there, but not a lot looking through that much liquid. Just a little bit when you thin it out around the F side of the glass when I'm looking through it, I can see a little red hue. This is nice. I enjoyed this. To be honest, I didn't know what to expect. One of my subs recommended this, and uh, I said, well, we'll pick it up if I see it. And I went up there, and lo and behold, they had it, so I picked it up. But I really didn't know uh, what to expect until I got the top up and on them. Of course, I had the reviews here in front of me, and I've read some of them. So I didn't know. Some of them were positive, some of them were negative, so I really didn't know what to expect. But this is tasty. I enjoyed this. It wouldn't be my go-to porter, but it's pretty pleasant beer from Finland. And uh, I'm going to let it warm up, because it's right out of the fridge. And... You want your porters to come up to room temperature, so uh, I'll probably chip on this for the next 35, 40 minutes and come back. We'll do the final chug on this one, see where this one ends up. Stick around, guys. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. Got just a little bit left here. I've been stepping on this for about 30 minutes or so. It's very pleasant. Very, very nice beer from Finland. I enjoyed this it's extremely well. R roasted malt, bittersweet chocolate coffee. Maybe a little dark fruit in there, raisins or plums or dates or something like that. Now that it's warmed up, the alcohol is there. I mean, it's 7.2, and and I, I'm getting a, a strong alcohol whip on this one. So, not hidden extremely well. So, but nice. I mean, it's a very pleasant beer. I enjoyed this. So. We're gonna do the final chug, guys. Cheers. got a very pleasant, lingering aftertaste of the roasted malt and the bitterness. I enjoyed that. That's pretty tasty. Uh, like I said, one of my subs uh, suggested this and uh, said it was the best beer that, uh, that Finland was making, that Finland had, and I'm going, that's a pretty bold statement. I have to check on that and make sure that the uh, uh, that I can't get that if I haven't seen it. I looked and they had it, so I'm gonna double check, and make sure that the, they don't have some other of their beers. Uh, I'm sure they brew something other than the porter, so uh, I'm gonna check it out, see if they've got some other uh, other beers. So guys, I'm gonna give this. It's pretty tasty. I'm, I'm gonna give it an eight. It's an A minus. It's definitely an A beer. 
uh, Rape Beer has this at uh, 99 overall and 99, 98 in the style. So pretty, pretty impressive marks from them. So a lot of people have been impressed, but the the later, the later uh, comments and reviews have kind of not been that positive. So, and uh, Beer Advocate has a 93. <laughs> Exceptional is what they have on this beer. So the guys over on that side were pretty damn impressed with this. So, and I am too. I mean, it's pretty tasty. It was damn tasty. Uh, I enjoyed that. It's a, it's not a bad beer. Uh, if that was the only porter I could get my hands on, I would drink it and enjoy it. Uh, it's a damn tasty beer, guys. If you can get this beer, it's exported to the USA. So, uh, like I said, I, got, I bought this at Vintage Cellar. So, uh, I don't know what the distribution in the other states are. So, I know it's available here in Virginia. So, uh, if you see it and you like a porter, pick this one up and give it a try. It's uh, not too bad. It's not blowing my socks off or my hair back, but... It's good stuff. It's a, it's a good quality ingredient beer. I'm sure they're not throwing any garbage in there. They've been doing this almost 200 years. 1819. That's a long time to be brewing beer. I think they know what they're doing. Uh, I'll attest to that with this one. It's pretty tasty. I'm going to check on and see if I can get some other ones. So guys, without me rambling on more and more and more, you know what the deal is. You need an opener? Give me a shot. A shirt? I'm going to look in the fridge tomorrow. Hope you can join me then. See you everybody.